Oh my god. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mia Tiffany and today we are going to be watching the greatest film ever made. Okay, so the film that we're going to be watching today has actually been deemed one, or not even one, the greatest film ever made by filmmakers such as Martin Scorsese and Steven Spielberg and so many more. And it also got a number one rating on AFI's 100 Greatest American Movies of the Last 100 Years. Yes, everyone, I'm talking about Citizen Kane. I'm so excited to watch this film. Um, so a little bit of background. This film was produced, co-written, directed, and starred in by Orson Welles, the one and only, with other notable performances by Joseph Cotton and Dorothy Cummingore. A quick synopsis of the film. It says, according to IMDb, following the death of publishing tycoon Charles Foster Kane, reporters scramble to uncover the meaning of his final utterance. Rosebud. Sounds super mysterious. <laughs> um, I'm so excited to watch this. There was so much controversy going around during the produ not production, during the release of this film, mainly because the main character, Charles Foster Kane, was actually modeled around a real newspaper tycoon called William Randolph Hearst. Um, and so, Hearst really just despised this movie and everything about it, so he did everything in his power to make sure that the movie either wasn't released at all in theaters or had a very, very, very hard time being shown in theaters. Um, but despite that, Orson Welles still received wide critical acclaim for the film, mainly because of, first of all, just the creative freedom that he had, but then also um, the different way that he manipulated, you know, camera angles, and just different things with the camera, so cinematography. So that's why this film has been deemed the greatest film ever made. And I'm so excited to watch it. I have been waiting to watch this film. I'm super excited to see what the buzz is about and what everyone is talking about, so I cannot wait. But before we get started, y'all already know the deal. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell notification to stay in the loop. All right, everyone, get your snacks. Today I have Jolly Ranchers because why not? <laughs> um, and let us get into Citizen Kane. <laughs> Bless me. Oh my gosh, this is so ominous and eerie. And I love it. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? That pan out? Rosebud. News on the march! News on the march! Xanadu's landlord. Xanadu? Like... A place where nobody dared to go. <laughs> that's funny. was the Xanadu where Kublai Khan decreed his state oh, that's of pretty. So big it can never be catalogued or appraised. Wow, so this was a straight up, up palace. Museums, the loot of the world. Could you imagine living in a pal like in a palace like that? I couldn't. Gee whiz. El Rancho. Susan Alexander Kane. Wow, she looks distraught. She's like, I don't want to talk to you right now or ever. Get out! You better leave her alone. Sorry. Okay, I, I don't know if this is a trend in the movie, but as I'm noticing thus far, the reporters that are asking about the life of Charles Foster Kane, they're never actually shown. Like, it's either like a shadow or a silhouette, but it's never light on their face. And I wonder why he did that. It's very interesting. And I'd like to know more about that. So if anyone out there knows why he did it this way, please let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to know why. God, the manipulation of lighting in this movie is freaking insane. Okay, not insane, but it's like, it's so different than what I'm used to. 
Bartleby will assume full management of the Colorado load, which I repeat, Mrs. Kane, you are the sole owner. I think it's kind of, it's interesting to see a woman take on this role in these films, because usually a man is the one that takes on that role, so it's a very interesting dynamic in this scene specifically. That's why he's going to be brought up where you can't get at him. Wow, so from a young age he was plucked from his his home to be this I guess rich kid or you know man. Wow. I think Orson Welles is so handsome. <laughs> Inform such a committee, put me down for a contribution of one thousand dollars. My god, this man is fabulously rich. If I hadn't been very rich, I might have been a really great man. Don't you think you are? I think I did pretty well under the circumstances. I have to say, the time jumps in this movie, they're so I I personally have not seen a movie um of this era quite like this film. I just think it's it's such an interesting way of storytelling, at least for its time. It's it's something I don't think that they were were used to or something that they had seen at the time. So I can understand why he was so widely praised for this film because it is just so fresh for the time that it was created in. <laughs> don't smile, Jedediah. Got it all written out. Declaration of principles. You don't want to make There's that shadow lighting again. Don't want to keep. These will be kept. Oh my god, I love it. I love the this. Of this city. Usually the actors who aren't who aren't talking are the ones that are in light and then the one that is talking is shadowed. That's so like I don't know why I'm I'm like being so extra about it, but it's just something I haven't seen before. I'd like to keep that particular piece of paper myself. I have a hunch. It might turn out to be something pretty important. And they keep the looking at sure. the camera. Like the declaration of I watched a, a video. Um, with Martin Scorsese talking about how Orson Welles really allowed for the camera to be known. Because prior to this, the movie movies that were being made were seamless movies, or hidden camera movies, where you didn't know that the camera was there. But in this film, the actors are constantly looking at the camera and breaking the fourth wall. You can tell just in what the first, what is this, the first 40 minutes of the film, how much creative freedom they had creating this film is so present in the film itself and i think it just makes it so much fun to watch for me at least yes really charles people will oh. think what i tell them to think so this hit their marriage is like starting to deteriorate and she was reading his rival newspaper what a slap in the face that's charlie's story how he lost it. You see, he just didn't have any to give. Oh. Well, he loved Charlie Kane, of course. <laughs> Very dearly. He is the type of man who wants to be loved and praised and, you know, basically remembered and recognized. But in turn, he doesn't have any love to give. Very interesting insight. But you don't want me to laugh at you. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I, the, that's the snow globe that he had in his hand when he, when he was on his deathbed, the one that fell. Ooh, what does that mean? Could she be Rosebud? Oh my gosh, the way he's looking at her, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it with the serious eyes. <laughs> I'd be like, please don't. <laughs> I think she has a beautiful voice. It doesn't quite sound like an opera voice, which is what she said, but it's beautiful. I made no campaign promises because until a few weeks ago, I had no hope of being elected. This by far is my favorite shot of the entire movie. Like with the camera placed at, um, I guess you would say below, uh, below eye level, and it's looking up to this grand picture of Kane, and he has his arms raised. It, I just, it was, it's just such a beautiful shot. 
I just love it. When I saw that, I'm like, I have to see this film. I have to see this scene in context because it is just a gorgeous shot. What's this all about, Emily? She is stunning. And that and outfit that they have her in is, Where are you going? is beautiful. Going She's beautiful. Oh, and the maid knows his name. That's always a bad sign. Oh my god. This is all bad. <laughs> and there it is. Or is that low camera angle again? It looks like the camera is literally like embedded into the floor. I feel like I'm more engaged in what they're saying versus if it was just eye level, you know, very standard. It just it adds like almost like zest to the film, which I really just applaud. I applaud him for this because it's wow. <laughs> I cannot get enough of this. Only you want love on your own terms. And love doesn't work like that. It's something to be played your way according yeah. to your rules. When she's wearing a black outfit. Isn't that something? On their wedding day, she's wearing a black dress. That is, I feel like that's foreshadowing. Very interesting costume pick for that. This is how it really feels backstage at a, at a, theater, <laughs> at a theater production. Wow. Did you see the chaos going on backstage and then how quickly they recovered? That is good theater right there. Is he okay? He ain't been drinking before, Mr. King. Never. Who would have heard? Oh, he has to be okay because he was talking as his old self earlier in the film. Where's my notice, Bernstein? I, I've got to finish my notice. Mr. Kane is finishing it for you. Charlie? So he's finishing the bad review of his wife. Charlie? Wow. Why? Some people can sing. Don't tell her that she can't sing. She can sing. It's just opera is not her thing. Oh, this is the same scene, but, but shown from a different angle. Whoa, interesting. I love that sliver of light right on his eyes. So beautiful. You know what? I don't know if any of you have seen, um, there is a video on YouTube called Shia LaBeouf. At the end of that video, Shia is actually sitting in the audience and he does exactly what Orson Welles just did right there. It's such an interesting, I love finding scenes that kind of recreate scenes from the classic Hollywood films. I love it. Poor thing. How taxing it must be. I can see why she left him now, because it's just like, Charlie. it's just taking too much from her. I couldn't make you see how I felt, Charlie, but I couldn't go through with the singing again. She doesn't want to do it, dude. You don't know what it means to know that people are, that a whole audience just doesn't want you. Why don't you just let her stop singing? She doesn't want to sing anymore. Oh my god, is that their house? Bulldog's just gone press. Well, hooray for the bulldog. That is Xanadu. That place is so big she can't even hear him. So when she wants to go out, he doesn't want to go out, so they don't go out. But when he wants to go out, she doesn't want to go out, and they go out. Ah, oh, marriage is about compromise. You want me to love you? Ah. Oh. Sure. I'm Charles Foster Kane. Whatever you want, just name it and it's yours. But you gotta love me. <gasps> Oh my god, did he just slap her? Why is there a woman screaming? Oh my god, that was so intense.
Please don't go. From now on, everything will be exactly the way you want it to be. Not the way I think you want it, but... your way. You can't do this to me. You see, uh, really, his loss of hopelessness through his life, of obtaining this, this thing that he craves, which I'm now believing to be, you know, love and affection of others, but he just doesn't know how to give it. And so I think that's kind of where the disconnection happens. So it's, it's just so interesting to see his character develop through the years. Mm, yeah, but I know how to handle him. Like the time his wife left him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that scared me! What was that? Was that a bird? <laughs> wait, wait a second, wait, I gotta go back. I was like adjusting my mic. And then all of a sudden I heard a screech. Can I, I'm gonna rewatch that. Hold on. Oh my god, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. Why would he do that? Oh my gosh. There's that snow globe again. Oh, but you won't break that one, will you? I feel like she has something to do with Rosebud. Is she Rosebud? Rosebud. He just said it. So she must be Rosebud. If you could have found out that Rosebud meant, I bet that would have explained everything. No, oh, so they never found out what Rosebud meant. No. I thought it meant Mr. Kane was a man the woman in his first sleigh. Why are they burning it? Oh my god, does that say Rosebud? Oh, no way. Wait, so the sleigh was Rosebud? Wow. What a movie. Yeah, that was just... Okay, I wait, before before I talk about what I think about the film as a whole, I didn't understand the ending. What, so the sleigh was Rosebud? I mean, I think. For any of you who have seen this movie, if you have any insight about the ending, please let me know. I'd love to know. Um, yeah, but overall, that was a wonderful movie like you could see that wells had such creative freedom with this wells and his team they had such creative freedom making this film and, and it was in every aspect of this of this movie um just with the different angles and the and the manipulation of light um and just ev like different like point of views it just you could you could feel it. You could feel the creativity of this movie. So I do see why people say this is the greatest film ever made. Um, and especially for its time, it's not something that people would have seen during that time. So I really enjoyed it from that perspective. In terms of its dialogue, I was a little bit like a little bit lost. Um, I think it's just one of those films that I got to watch again and really understand what they're saying and, and, and the story. I mean, I understood it was about Kane and his life, but I would really like to go back and rewatch it and just really listen to the dialogue between each character. Um, but yeah, that was a really well done film. So I think I'm going to give that one, I'll give it like a nine out of 10 overall. It was a really, really well done film. All right, everyone, that does it for this video. If you liked it as much as I did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification to stay in the loop. All right, if you had any suggestions or any recommendations that you'd like to see in the future, please let me know in the comment box below. Thank you to all of you who have been recommending and suggesting. I've been listening to you and putting them all in my master movie list. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe and healthy out there, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye, everybody.